So I'm now going to demonstrate um, the crop tool, which is really useful when you've just brought in an image. Um, there's bits, the bits that you want to crop off or you want to crop the image smaller. You might want to rotate it and move it. Now, in the latest Photoshops, they added the rotate. It's a really useful feature that you'll use lots. So we can click on the crop tool. So it's the fourth, fifth one down in the toolbar. And the shortcut is C. So if I press C, it goes to the tool. Now, if I select it, you'll see we get these sort of dotted line appear around our frame and um, we have these little black blocks in each corner and in the middle in between them. Now if I click on my image um, it will come up with this rule of thirds so we get this rule of thirds view and we can change that if we need so if we prefer a grid this menu up here we can change. I'm going to leave it rule of thirds it's good for composition and uh, generally looking at our image now with this selected we are in the mode where it's asking us to crop it and then say we're happy with our crop. So what I can do now is if I move my cursor around and to one of these blocks on the corners or in the center the arrow changes so it will be like a two point arrow. Now if I click and drag we can adjust our crop like so. So I could crop out bits I don't like or in the case of some photos if I just wanted a face I can move it round and crop a certain bit out. Once I'm happy with my crop, I can click the tick at the top or press enter, like so, and now it's cropped. Now, I have delete cropped pixels um, ticked at the top. Now, what this means is that if I wanted to make it bigger again, it's now white. So I'm just going to go back one step and show you what I mean with that delete cropped pixels. So I'm just going to untick this for now. So if I just click on it, it becomes unticked. If I now crop down to say the, the image that I had before and click OK, because that hasn't got deleted the crop pixels, if I then decide actually I want to crop a bit more out or go back to my original, you can see the image is still there just hidden in the background. So it's a good advantage if you're not sure what, what you're cropping. Um, it is also bad in a way if you're cropping lots of images and you know that you're happy with them. If you have this unticked, um, it's going to leave all the images in there and make the file much bigger than it needs to be. So use turn that on and off depending on what you need. So we also have uh, this bar at the top, so top left in our crop tool, uh, which says unconstrained. Now unconstrained means that we can resize at any size, any ratio, and it will allow us. There's no constraint, so we're unconstrained on our crop. Now if I click this, we get original ratio, so this will link to the original ratio of my original image, which I can't change. You see it only crops to the ratio that it began at. I can also go um, square, 4 by 5 Now I can also go to the bottom and create my own size. So if you've got a specific size that you need to make, um, it's not there, we can click on size and resolution and we can enter a custom size. So I'm going to put 20 uh, centimeters. So we can change that by clicking because 20 pixels is quite small. So we're going to put 20 centimeters by 20. So it's going to be a square. I'm going to put the resolution as 300. Make sure that's pixels per inch. And I'm going to save it because I'm going to use this again. So I'm going to click OK. And it's going to ask me to save it. So it could be 20 times 20 square, 300 DPI. So it gives me some information about what this crop will do. So if I click OK, you can see now we have the crop preset up in the top left. And no matter how hard I try, it's always going to be at a, in a square shape. Now because I've set it to be a certain size, if I crop down to a small size, rather than matching the original settings and keeping it original size, this is going to make this small bit much bigger and you see if I go into image and image size it is now 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters so it's great for cropping things and making sure that they fit a certain size um, for either clients or yourself so that's the crop tool